Hello, brothers and sisters. Today, I'll be talking about how to prevent your building from collapsing. Welcome to Mr. Cash Flow's world. Brothers and sisters, as I explained to you earlier on, that today we're going to talk about the reason why some of the buildings in Ghana is collapsing or anywhere else in the world, especially Africa. Now, we find out the reason why the buildings are collapsing. As you lot know that I come from a building family. We got a friend of mine, he have his house. I don't know whoever built it for him. And then we got information last week that his building collapsed. My senior brother have to go there and have a check and see what actually going on. He got down there. We find out that the plumber that does the job from the initial, from the beginning, he done his job, but there's a lot of mistakes. And we all know that water is the most powerful thing. So the plumber work, we all know when you are building from the foundation to the top. When you reach the top part of the building, we call something flow. So you flow it nicely with gravels, with sand, and then you let it, maybe you put water or rain for him to sink very nicely. And then, then you have to now call the plumber. The plumber now have to put the plumbing work, the pipes, everything on it. And underneath, that means that that pipe that you put on top of the flow, which you're gonna cast the concrete, that stayed there for hundreds of years. And if one of those pipes goes wrong, that's it. Now, what happened in this guy's case is not just one, but most of the pipes was not properly seeded with the glue. Some of them are wildly open, but you know, as I want to say it, I don't want to say it as it is, but Africa, we all know how things go sometimes. They left it like that. And then the next thing, they put the concrete on top nicely. But those pipes all stay under the building and they are on top of the sun. And then you carry the building and part of it have to go all the way. If it's three-story building, two-story, they go all the way to the top. Now, what happened in this case after this guy finishes building, all the wastewater was going underneath the building and from the underneath they have to go now to the sewage or whatever. What happened was 95% of the water were just talking in one part of the building. Three years down the line, what happened? The building now collapsed. Not collapsed that people died, but the building now, it, it, it goes to one side. It was on the way to collapse because you can see the building is no more level. He's bent one side. That means it's collapsed. So then when now the workers go down there trying to find out what is the problem, they have to find out. If, now they got to find out that most of the pipes was laid from the beginning of the building. There's a lot of water stuck. So one part of the building is a too much water that related to the problem that the building now have to sink to one side. It's very, very simple how to prevent this kind of problem in the future. All you need to do is right from the start, before they're about to cast the concrete, every single pipe that they put on top of the building, which after your filling, before they have to cast the concrete, Make sure that all those pipes, because those pipes are the only pipes that all the water, if it's a two-story building, all the water is coming through that and before they go out. Make sure all those pipes are well sealed. Even though you have to get a pumping machine, put the water and put cables through all of them, a tube through all of them, pump water throughout and make sure that all of them are sealed. Anyone who is leaking, you can see, you will leak, on top of the sun and then, then you let them correct the mistakes put the proper glue solo tape it nicely for you because they're gonna stay there for years if you done that and that is done before they cast the concrete that means you are in the right track number two when the building is built now you got your building the roofing is done everything is done the last thing you have to do before you put your ties painting anything else you always have to know water is a very very good thing but it can damage things what you need to do there's something called plugs and this plug is when you see all the pipe where all the pipe like the pipe who bring water to the bath the pipe which bring water to the sink that you have to brush the pipe which bring a water to the kitchen the hot water the cold water all those things have a little bit of we call it plugs that you have to lock them it's a round thing that you can close all of them 
entire building. If it's two, three story building and they all have where the water have to go, the bath, the toilet, everywhere. You make sure that you use those plugs, close all of them. Now you get a water in a big tank or this big plastic tank, which can take a 50 gallons of water or 200 gallons of water. Buy one, get your pumping machine. Now, what you do then, you connected the water from the tank or your plastic reservoir to the house. These plugs, you put all these plugs, all the holes that the water can come from, you plug all of them. Now, you put your pumping machine, plug this water, let the pumping machine work. The pumping machine is going to generate water to all this variety of all the pipes. Let the pumping machine be on at least in an hour on an hour and a half so that the pressure will go all through the pipes. You let it go like that. Any place that's any tiny leakage will pop up on the wall because you haven't put a tie yet. Since you haven't put the ties, in the building or around the bath, you can see the one one part of the building here is cold. You can see, oh, this place, there's something going on there. So there, then you can be able to connect your plumber and say, you know what, there's something going on here. We can chisel it and find out what is happening. That is the only way that you can find out that a part of the building is leaking before you put your ties or else if you put your ties, what is going to happen in the future is the water will be leaking through part of the building without you knowing. So you got to keep this in your mind. Mr. Cashflow is bringing this out there today because for me personally, it's very, very important because since I got to hear about this problem, a couple of properties, me and my families, we're doing, we go around, we're trying to have a look, we're trying to learn a lot out of this problem. But all I'm saying now is if you have a building or you are building, Please, try to keep out on these kind of problems because you might work hard. We all know how hard it is to make money in this kind of part of the world. And then two, three years, part of the building is collapsing because of someone else's mistake. So all you have to do is, even if you have existing building and you think that, look, I, I really want to check it, you can also check it with your plumber. You make sure he put his pumping machine, check everything. You can see if there's a leakage anywhere. Then you're trying to solve that problem. No to get a problem in the future. So that's why I'm bringing it out. Most of us who are working hard, just trying to be somebody, we can be able to protect what we have rather than to lose what we already have. Brothers and sisters, like, subscribe, and share this video for the rest of the diaspora to hear. Brothers and sisters, as I always say, Ghana is developing, Africa is developing, Africa is our world. We need to help to develop it together. Thank you. Peace. Love ya.